Checking in with the Allen County Museum, and as always, lots of things happening. We have got Amy Kraft Clausen, the Director and Executive Secretary for the Allen County Historical Society. And thanks for coming today. Thanks, Holly. All right, let's first start out, start out. The docents, so important volunteers for you guys, and you have some training this week for them. Yeah, you know, it's Docent Enrichment Week, um, which is um, an annual event that happens in September. And, and we're really excited. We have a really nice week planned. Um, it seems to be a nice balance of lectures and um, um, guest speakers, as well as docents who are giving presentations and then some hands-on activity and training. So um, I think it's going to be a good week this, 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 this um, year. And, you know, they know all kinds of things about the museum, but it's just important to enrich them in different areas. Is that why you do it for these volunteers? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's a great way for each um, each of the docents to kind of engage with each other and then have um, different guests come in and talk about s subjects that may be a little bit outside of the museum. But it, I, I think it's important that they um, have um, access to a variety of different kinds of information. And, and Sarah does a really great job of organizing um, um, guest speakers who are coming in, some of whom um, one is Dan Grossman from Sonova's um, Lima Refinery. Um, the other one is Dan Baker, and he's coming out actually from the presidential um, site, from the, the, the Hayes presidential site. And that that lecture is actually going to um, speak about um, Hayes's connection to uh, Lake Erie. So I'm really kind of intrigued by that. That should be a pretty interesting um, uh, lecture and certainly something that ties to the president's exhibit, which is on view still until the end of October. So those pieces are just coming together, I think, this year really nicely. Yeah, you talk about the president's exhibit. It, it's it's such a unique piece, and hopefully, a lot of visitors are coming to see it. And you also have a fundraiser coming up that you're going to use that theme. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so um, on October 15th, we have a fundraiser that is a state dinner, and actually, we're going to have um, four presidents that are dressed in costume, and they're going to um, be here, so guests can mingle and chat with them. Um, so it will um, include um, President uh, Benjamin Harrison, Ulysses S. Grant, um, Ruth Fred B. Hayes, and um, President Polk. Um, so he's not out from Ohio, but um, he was one of the other people that were um, willing to come and um, help us with this celebration. It's a fundraiser for the museum. And um, then uh, there will also, uh, Florence Harding is going to also be there. So guests will be able to mingle with them, but then they will also all be giving um, short speeches um, as part of the um, event. Um, it's a dinner. There'll be music by Lima Concert Band. Um, and people are actually able to still sit with the presidents. If you haven't gotten um, tickets yet, there um, there's still a few of the uh, tables available where you can sit with the presidents. Um, but otherwise, we will have plenty of seating. Um, the event, I, I think, will be a really uh, fun and unique um, opportunity for us. We haven't done anything like this in, in quite a while. You know, our typical fundraiser is always our train event. So this is something new. Exciting stuff. So get your tickets now if you want to be part of that. Amy, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Holly. Have a great day. Uh-huh. Noon Edition continues in a moment.